Hello and welcome. My name's Kathy A and I love doing these at the end of the year. My favorite drugstore and affordable makeup. This is all makeup and um, products that you would use like primers. Um, I'm using all my tools and all my skincare and hair care and lifestyle stuff is going to be in another video. This is just strictly makeup today. It's a lot of fun and it's taken quite a while to curate these items because I've been doing this show since about 2013 and I have literally tried thousands of products and you know it, the best of the best at the end of the year it's always a thrill for me to share my favorites with you. Starting it off with nails, I have three colors on my nails just to demonstrate them so you can see how pretty they are. This little light color is called Under the Covers and this puts a beautiful sheer wash over the top of any other nail color or you can use it on its own for really pretty white with a couple of layers. It's a beautiful, very youthful sort of looking uh, nail color. This is the Sephora brand and these are five dollars each, these little minis. Um, this middle color here, am I making some kind of signal? <laughs> I don't know if it's not a dirty signal somewhere. Um, this is Flirting Game. This is a beautiful, this is my favorite color. And then uh, we have very sophisticated looking, this is Summer Nostalgia. Very sophisticated looking color here, but these are five dollars each. They are very affordable and I think they're the best nail polishes I've tried in years. They're better than OPI, better than Essie, better than Sally Hansen, um, and the one with the elephant on it. So I really like these very much. I do have I'm a Princess on its way. It's kind of a shimmery light ivory color. And that should be really pretty. All right, let's go with the primers. For face primers, uh, if you want to fill in all the dings and dents and texture, I do love this e.l.f. Uh, this is Poreless Putty Primer. And I noticed on their website, they're having a, a sale right now on their website. Um, I do have kind of a large order coming. I'm kind of, I've got their advent calendar of all things. <laughs> it's had 24 pieces in it. It was on sale for half price and I thought, well, that's going to be neat. <laughs> Um, this is the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. Uh, you can put it in, it'll fill in all those St. Bernard lines and dings and dents you have in your uh, face from uh, probably, like me, a little bit too much sun exposure and a little too little sunscreen over the years and I think it's wonderful. The e.l.f. Putty Primer is my favorite face primer for dings and dents and texture. Now for smoothing out, I really love this and I discovered this this year when I did a full face of just Sephora brand. The Sephora home brand surprised me in so many ways and some of the products are in my favorites for the year. Um, I'm really, they really surpassed what I even imagined they would be. Now I was disappointed in their eyeshadows and just, I am really, really pleased with the items that I selected for today. This is the Smooth Priming Base. And it's a very clear gel, dimethicone kind of um, uh, primer. Just barely see it here. When you put this on your skin, your skin feels so baby soft instantly. It's unbelievable. And your makeup glides over the top. It, it's not, it doesn't react. Some makeups don't go over some primers, like the Milk Primer, for instance, did not work well with several of my foundations. The Sephora brand smoothing base primer for the face is just beautiful. It's a beautiful layer between your skin and the makeup. It really helps uh, the makeup last longer and it covers some of those dings and dents as well. For lips, I've been using a lip balm and this is the Lip Rescue Tinted Lip Balm from Sorme. Now Sorme is a skincare and makeup line that you can find in dermatology offices. It was at one point just an industry standard. You couldn't get it in the public. It wasn't in drugstores. And they have just, there's some flagship stores for CVS that carry the line. They've got it as an end cap on its own. And they were at one point featuring buy one, get one free. So I purchased a lot of Sorme to try it. I did do a full face of this product line. Um, you can go to the Sorme site and purchase these things as well. I prefer to go to CVS because I like to use my extra cash bucks and you know coupons and things like that. So <laughs> my um, bell keeps ringing. It's disturbing. It's like somebody's behind me. 
I'm like, what's that noise? Um, this is the color Yummy, and this is just a beautiful lip balm. You just literally put it on like you would a chapstick, and it does twist up, so it is, you know, a really nice little product. Now, Sorme, since it is in CVS, you would think it'd be very, very inexpensive, but it's not. It's almost luxury priced, but it is in the drugstore, so I did include it because I enjoy their products so much and they don't fit. I have other things for my high-end stuff. I'll be doing a high-end and luxury makeup video separately from this. For eye primer, and this is the biggest surprise to me this year. I was watching Tara Baby, and um, she's about half my age, and she um, is beautiful. She has beautiful skin. She's young. She's, you know, and she uses this for her eye primer, eyelid primer. And it's the CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless. This is number 200. I think 215 would probably be a little bit more up my alley, but basically it's Olay and it's a, it's a cream foundation, but when you put it just a little bit on your eyelid, it, it takes away all of the veining, all of the darkness, um, discoloration that a lot of us older gals get on our eyes. We get that redness, we get the purpley stuff, the green stuff. <laughs> you know, it, it's bad enough we have to contend with all the layers of loopy, floppy skin, but now we have color added to it, which adds to the fun of making up in the morning. This is amazing. This works so well. It, it seals in. You're only supposed to use just a teeny bit. You get it all in. I even go underneath my eye as well, just a little layer underneath the lower lashes. I do set this with a little bit of face powder and I think it's just the perfect eye primer. I reach for this almost every day. Uh, I like this better than my high-end eye primers. For concealer, I have two. Um, one's easier to get than the other one, so I'm going to just talk about both of them. This is the Smart Cover um, Concealing Cream. It comes in a medium beige and a light beige, and it comes with a moisturizer in a little kit as seen on TV. It is, and it shows a woman with all kinds of like gnarly crap done to her skin, and then she puts this stuff on and she looks flawless. And the lady who developed this uh, Smart Cover stuff is the same developer for Dermablend. And Dermablend, of course, is famous as being kind of a medical grade uh, cover-up for people who have burned skin or heavy scarring or they've just uh, had surgery and they need a little bit of cover-up for their scars. I love this. This is a wonderful concealer. I wish it was slightly lighter. Um, it goes on almost a dry cream. That's the only way I can describe it. It blends so well. It's poreless. It's, uh, it instantly blends in, it doesn't crease, it doesn't crack, um, and I love it. And it's, it may not be so easy to find, which is why I have it tied with another product. But um, it comes in different shades. There's a medium and dark shade, and then there's the light medium shade. And I have the light medium shade. I would have loved to have a fair to light shade, but um, this light beige is wonderful. I did go out and purchase the Derma Blend concealer to see if it was the same, and the ingredients list is different. So I'm going to have to say that this is a, a unique product. Uh, and it comes in an as seen on TV kit. You can find it in that section of the drugstore. Maybe CVS will have it in their section. I happen to find mine in a Burlington store. And that was normally, you know, they get like rejects and extras and <laughs> I think they were redoing their packaging so they had a bunch of these in the Burlington store. And I picked one up and I thought, eh, you know, it's not as expensive as it would be if I bought it brand new off of the TV. So, smart cover, concealer, really good. Now, it is tied with a very common um, and new product. This is Revlon's Colorstay Skin Awaken. Uh, this is a caffeine and vitamin C concealer. Now it has the same little spongy tip applicator like the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind has. It goes on really nicely. You don't need that much. Now it shears out, I would say it's a medium light coverage. If you have a lot of darkness under your skin, I would say probably use some kind of color corrector first and then put this over the top. This dries nicely, it, uh, it doesn't crease, 
Now, after I put my concealer on, I always go back after I finish my face makeup and I go onto my, my cruel and horrible 8 by mirror and I look, you know, that's the kind you can see your DNA molecules, right? I look there and I press all of that back in because I can see where it's moved and then I put my powder on to make sure it's set. So especially down here, these lines always get the makeup in them. No matter what makeup I use, how expensive it is, how luxurious it is, when you have older skin, these are just things you have to deal with and you just have to compensate for it by doing that extra little trip around your face and just um, punch in the uh, press in the concealer around. It works really nice on blemishes. This is a great all-purpose concealer and it comes in a lot of shades. So you can use this conceivably all over your face if you get different shades. It does have darker shades too, which I was glad to see. It's inclusive. So good for you, Revlon. You did it. You did it. I have two foundations. Um, I think I'm really impressed with um, this one the most. This is Sorme and it's actually a BB cream. This is called Treat and Tint and as I said it was an industry standard and you can find it in dermatology offices. It is skin care in the makeup. This is for all skin types and it is so forgiving. It is the most forgiving product I have ever used on my skin. You do have to shake it up and shake it up and shake it up. When you think you've shaken it, shake it a little bit more because it does separate. It's got SPF in there, SPF 30 I believe. It's got um, all kinds of skin care, vitamins, peptides, all that cyclamates, whatever it is they have in there. And I tell you, when you put this stuff on, uh, and it does come in a couple of shades, it just melts into your skin and gives you this beautiful, healthy color, good coverage, forgiving of your pores, forgiving of your lines, forgiving of your texture. It doesn't attach itself to dry patches. This is the greatest BB cream I've ever used. And I'm, you know, I, I was hesitant to bring up Sorme because a lot of people don't have access to it. So I had to kind of come up with a second place or a tie uh, with a product that you can access. But this is Sorme and it's called Treat and Tint because it is skincare and makeup. It's like a double, double burst of goodness here. And uh, the shade is called Fair Beige, but I would say it's more of a medium light. It's not fair. Fair is kind of a, uh, that's a very, um, it's, it's a shade, slightly half a shade darker than my skin, but I love that because it makes me feel healthier and it also is more forgiving of dry patches when you go slightly darker. I think this is just beautiful, this uh, Sorme Treat and Tint, and you can go to their website and get it as well as CVS. It is tied with Sephora's own brand, and this is called Best Skin Ever. This is an exact match for my skin tone, in case any of you are like me. It's 15.5N. Uh, let me just put a little here. This is a really nice all-around foundation. Everybody who's tried it really likes it. I don't think the longevity is there. Um, it does dry down a little bit. I think you need to set it. Uh, it's just really, really nice. 15.5N is my color, so I'm a medium light neutral sort of. So very, very nice. And it's called Best Skin Ever. I think it runs about uh, $19 or $20. It is very inexpensive for Sephora. I got it at the sale, I think, for $14. I got that percentage off, you know, for being a ridiculous rouge. <laughs> rouge is ridiculous. You you know how much money you have to spend to be a rouge? Not as bad as what Ulta makes their diamonds be. I noticed the diamonds, they have to spend I think 1500 to be a diamond. And it was so funny. They sent me a notice and they said, you only need 1200 more points to make diamond. And I thought, well, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen in this month. All right, so best skin ever from the Sephora brand is my second place or tied with the Sorme uh, Treat and Tint for foundations, for drugstore foundations. Break. Powders. This is new to me this year. This is the banana powder from Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, 
Um, I bought it on a whim because it, you know, I had some extra bucks and um, this is just, it cancels out any kind of pores, any kind of discolorations, anything. This is an amazing powder. It's absolutely beautiful. You can use it under your eyes. It is so finely milled. I don't know how they can afford to do it, but this banana powder, I mean, they have, I think, three different shades of this. This is the banana powder. I think this is translucent. And then we have our highlighting powder, which is coming up later. But there's enough in here to last your natural lifetime, and it's just so good. It's absolutely super finely milled. Put it under your eyes. You can put it all over your face to set your face. You can put it on your eyelids to set your eye primer. This is a fabulous, fabulous thing. If you have really super fair skin, you may find it shows a little bit, but regular like uh, medium light to medium to medium dark can wear this easily. For press powder, uh, I think this one last year, it's winning again this year. This is a very finely melt, uh, very high quality powder from number seven. And this is just beautiful. Uh, it's a lighter shade, so I sometimes will offset my banana powder because it can be a little yellow in places. I'll offset it with a little of this. This is just a wonderful product number seven and this is the lift and luminate um, triple action finishing powder from number seven in light for bronzer and contour I do tend to make those things separate but uh, if it's not a shimmer to it I will contour with it and this I was under a rock last year I did not I stuck my nose up in the air and I thought no I've got other bronzers I'm not gonna waste my time on this cheapy little stuff this is a cream bronzer from elf it is called tan lines and I think I ordered another one called clay that's on its way uh, this is just beautiful it is so subtle very very subtle you can hardly uh, detect it on the skin as makeup but yet you still get the effects of having a bronze or a contour um, texture layers on your skin and I love it it's absolutely beautiful I do set it with the powder and the elf powder uh, this palette is wonderful it's just kind of legendary um, it doesn't have a mirror with it but you don't really need it but these two mix together one's a bronzing and one's a contour um, I love these and I think this is very much it's close to the Kevin Aquan uh, medium sculpting powder but it's slightly warmer and it's not as quite finely milled as the Kevin Aquan but I mean this over the top of this you've got a beautiful contour bronze for like six bucks I mean this is like three dollars <laughs> I mean, really. And this, I think, is six or seven dollars, this palette. Now, it has, um, it also has like a powder here and a slightly darker powder. Um, both of them beautiful. This one just feels like silk. And again, you know, this is a probably for more for a medium or golden skin tone. And you can see I just added a little color to myself there. But um, for some reason, this one feels so much smoother than this one. So I don't know what the difference is, you know, what their purpose is, but absolutely beautiful. For blushes, I have three. I have uh, two powder blushes and one cream blush. The cream blush is from a website called Shein, S-H-E-I-N. We call it Shine, we call it Sheen, we call it... It's a um, little poet corrected me. She said it's called She In, and I purchased some clothes there uh, also. And I, I did a whole makeup face using from the uh, She Glam line, which is part of the She In site. And so this is called Spring It On from She Glam, and it's called Permanent Vacation, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Let me just put a teeny bit here. You only need a little dot, teeny little dot and it just makes a beautiful you can build it up but it makes a beautiful flush to your skin I, I and it's like three dollars and on the Shein website and again spring it on and it's called permanent vacation they have a ton of makeup on there and of course 
you know, once you pick something out, they start hitting you with all these other things that are similar to it or they think you might like and oh you will like this one and, and then they put a little timer on there so it's like well we'll keep it in your cart for one hour and it's like ah, there's all this kind of stress but I do like this a lot I think this is wonderful this is something I will repurchase from the website and She Glam has a lot of good products She Glam had um, they had a they actually had my original um, favorite face primer but it keeps going out of stock and I don't like to recommend stuff like that to you when it, it's not in stock or it's hard to get. For powder blushes I have two um, probably the most recognizable would be the Milani and this is the Romantic Rose of course they have it stamped and shaped with that sculpted rose on there this is a beautiful um, very subtle shade. It's kind of a muted uh, warm pink. I really like this. It's very, very, um, it's, I don't know, I feel like I've elevated, you know, I've leveled up a little bit when I wear something like this. And it's very inexpensive. You can find it in the drugstore. Um, Milani does blushes really well. And my favorite shade this year was this one from Sorme. This is called Natural Earth. And it it doesn't look like much. It reminds me a lot of like one of the Tarte exposed blushes. It's in that kind of range where it's just so natural. You really do look like you just have a natural, beautiful flush to your skin. Uh, I don't know if I can put it on here and have it show up or not, but um, it's just beautiful. Sorme, and this is the Natural Earth blush. I have two different highlighters because they have a slightly different effect on the skin. Um, my, this is so inexpensive. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder from their Make a Glow line. And right now they're featuring this in CVS in a $5 box and it comes with two liquid highlighters and this for 5 bucks. So it's just an amazing deal. Uh, this highlighting powder is so gorgeous. I just want to show you, this is an extreme right here, but you just can put it on for a subtle glow. You can just use it for a subtle glow. You don't have to shine like a stripe, you know, but you can if you really want to see you from space or whatever. You can do that if you wish with this powder, but um, I just think, it, and again, you've got enough in there to last a lifetime, and it's so inexpensive. And this is just the highlighting powder. They didn't give it a title like a name, you know, but uh, Moon Glow. I don't know. Star Glow? <laughs> sun Glow? <laughs> so this is a beautiful, beautiful highlighting powder. Now, less glary and shiny is this one from Sephora brand. And Sephora brand, um, again, they surprised me with the products. And this was one of my favorites in the whole line. This is their Golden Hour uh, highlight series and this is called Dusk and this is just a stunning, stunning, I don't know if you can see it, I'm just going to put it right here. It just gives a little bit of a glow of something. You look almost airbrushed in a painting with this on um, and I just use it sparingly a little bit. It doesn't, it's not overdone. It's not going to give you that stripe and I just think it is so pretty. You can use it wherever you would normally put your highlight and it's just so subtle. I think the subtlety of it makes it so beautiful. It comes with a mirror. Now in Sephora, this is part of the Sephora collection, but I think this is one of the more expensive pieces in the Sephora collection of their own home brand. To uh, set my face, this is the flower uh, Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray is a, a light floral scent. I always keep my sprayer face towards the front of the bottle so I see the label on the bottle. I know when I spray it's going to hit my face because a lot of times being older I can't see the little spout and it's all turned on the side and I'll be spraying it what I think is at my face and it goes over here somewhere. So I always keep the sprayer to the front of the bottle, a little life hint there. Uh, on anything. If I have a sprayer, I always look for the front of the bottle and put the sprayer facing forward and it just helps me um, 
control the spray. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So the Flower Beauty, um, this is the hydrating setting spray. Really, really wonderful. There is a light scent to it. It's not offensive at all. If you have sensitive skin or you don't like uh, fragrance in your products, I feel sorry for you because it's so pleasant sometimes to have a fragrance in products. For brows, um, I did discover this this year and I really like it. This is from Joa, which is that same um, Joa Beauty. It's a Korean line that CVS carries and they have outstanding mascara and of course it sold out when I wanted to get some because I have 12 mascaras going at any one time and I just remembered I really like the Joa mascara for like drugstore mascara um, but I've been using this this is a beautiful like brow pencil now I don't have huge brows I don't like caveman brows I used to over pluck them for the disco and I tell you it's <laughs> it's uh, kind of embarrassing because brows are a big part of staying more youthful looking and more uh, healthy looking you know when your brows are healthy on your face you look healthy when your brows are really thin and weak you can look harsh or sick so I do fill in first with a pencil I brush it up and then I use I used to use the make me brow from essence and I've used the Ulta brow mascara brow tint which is really nice but this year I discovered this one probably late summer and it works really nicely this is the Maybelline brow fast sculpt now I got the light blonde shade which may have been a mistake I don't know it's just a little bit light but man this stuff deposits the color and it holds it makes your um, brow hair kind of crispy makes it kind of crispy but it washes off pretty easily at in the night uh, you know when you have your shower at night so I would say between these two um, the essence one is a little less expensive uh, the Maybelline one I don't know maybe seven or eight dollars um, so you know the difference between four dollars and eight dollars but I think that the Maybelline one excels and it seems to have more of a hold than the uh, essence one has or the Ulta one so any of those three work really well but I think I'm gonna have to go with the Maybelline as the winner of this little grouping <laughs> and I will probably get the taupe color because the light blonde is just a little bit light for me for eyeliners I mean there were so many really nice ones that I tried this year and I was really impressed with Sorme of course had a ton of really good ones this is a khaki color retractable uh, liner I'm just gonna show you this color and you can just see this is the khaki color this looks so nice under the eye instead of using a black liner you can use a color like the khaki and then you can smudge it out with a brush or your fingers uh, really really nice and again you know skincare in the makeup this is a really really nice product uh, also pixie by Petra uh, this is a, a line you can find in Target. I love her eyeliners. These are the Skylines, I think. Endless Silky Eye Pen from Pixie. And this is a beautiful uh, shimmering brown. And you can use this as a liner or you can smear it out and smudge it out and make it as a shadow. So really, really nice. This particular color I think is chocolate. And this color is called Black Cocoa. Really, really nice. Really, really pretty. Let me just blend it in a little bit. <laughs> I tried a different palette on this side than the palette I'm going to talk about. And this side just fell apart. I was so surprised. What a difference. Because I wanted to test it against something that was similar. I wanted to see what happened. So I'll tell you a little later what that was. But this is the uh, Dark Cocoa from Pixie by Petro. You can find this Pixie line. In Target I talked about these in the past uh, I think I had a lighter one a golden copper one that I used to line under my eyes with any of their pencils I think are just absolutely amazingly beautiful now LA girl also has a beautiful velvety uh, eyeliner and this is the dark deep navy blue one uh, this is the ultimate LA girl ultimate eye intense stay 
auto liner. Yeah. You can use this as a shadow, as a liner. Uh, it's a really nice accent liner. Really beautiful and it is retractable. Okay, for eyeshadow palettes. <sighs> Wet n Wild um, has, for a small one, I love this five pan um, Wet n Wild color icon. This, this one is Walking on Eggshells and this is their new revised version. This is the five pan. Slightly different from some of the styling they've made with the same palette slightly different variant on the colors over time. The very first walking on eggshells I ever saw had like black and brown and white I think. And this is the walking on eggshells. Really amazing. When Wet n Wild first came out with the, the walking on eggshells palettes I think they were slightly different shape. Uh, there were slightly different colors in them and um, the formulations have varied over the years. I do like this formula. I think it's really nice. You can make a really good basic everyday eye out of this. But I pair this with this one and this is the Nude Awakenings, the new Nude Awakenings palette. This is another uh, color scheme that they've played with over the years and, and reformulated and changed but kept the name the same. I don't know why they don't call it something different but this is the Nude Awakenings palette. Um, if you put that with this you've got like a perfect everyday whatever you want to do with it palette. You do have some shimmer shades in here to glam it up. You can line your eyes. You've got this nice dark color to deepen it or line. Um, I absolutely love these two together. Um, as the perfect palette really for you know drugstore and affordable really really wonderful Wet n Wild has really always been really good at their eyeshadows. Colourpop uh, put this out I don't know if it was early in the year I didn't get it until summertime though I was kind of a late bloomer to this one I had to order it off their website because the ultras are always sold out of it or they didn't carry it in store I, I forget what it was but I couldn't get this and in, in, I wanted to look at it. I like to look at eye palettes in person. Um, I just had a mishap with Sydney Grace because I chose things off the website and when I, I just now received them and I was like, oh my god, I don't look anything like what the website showed. Ugh, that's another story. Anyway, ColourPop. This is called um, Stone Cold Fox. This is a beautiful neutral and cool toned natural functional neutral palette for uh, everyday looks. You can use it. You can glam it up a little bit. You've got these beautiful metallics blended in here. Um, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we what else do we have here that can stand out here? Really, really pretty. Um, I mean the the pigmentation is really good. The color assortment is so usable, so everyday doable. This is like one of the most perfect large palettes that came out this past year. So Stone Cold Fox is my choice for the large neutral palette. For a color palette, this one wins hands down. I talked about this I think in my last video uh, of Faves and Flops. I came in into this probably in November. This is from a, a company called You Can Be and oftentimes they will imitate some higher end palettes, Huda Beauty or Pat McGrath or um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is called Exotic Flavors. This is one of their own and the packaging is quite pretty. Even though there's not a mirror in here they really don't need it and I don't use mirrors on my eye palettes anyway. Uh, this has just a stunning array of colors. Um, right along here you can see you've got all your basics here. You've got you know your light, your medium transition, you've got a couple of warm tones, you've got a shimmer and a dark. This is a perfect everyday normal eye. Then you've got some oranges and mustards. Then you've got some pinks. I notice a lot of people like wearing variegated pinks on their eyes. I do not. I'm not a pink girl. Then we've got um, the chartreuse and gold and mustards. We've got the greens, absolutely beautiful purples. We've got the blues and blue greens and then we have neons going across the top. 
this has got a little bit of everything for everybody and what you can do I think if you want to you can let me just uh, put a little here let me just show you the power of this color <laughs> yeah hello Okay. So you can see I kind of instantly kind of transformed the look. You don't have to use it as a lid shade. You can use it as a little bit of an accent color, but you can, you know, really do something pretty with some of these colors. These metallics are just outstanding unbelievable so this palette is just one incredible deal I think it's 14 or 15 dollars on Amazon I'll have it linked below but it's called exotic flavors and I'm telling you the pigmentation is stunning on this uh, for you can be this is probably my favorite palette this year really really wonderful Okay, for um, eyeliners that you can use underneath your lashes in your waterline, you know, when you go under here, very bravely go under here. This is a really nice one. This is the Exaggerate from, and you know, I generally use a higher end uh, liner for this, so it's not really in my wheelhouse to use the cheapy ones. Always, always, when I go in under my eye like that to draw a line next to my lashes under the underside, I always wipe off the tip before I put it back in just for germs, for bacteria, things like that. It's good to do that. So this is the Exaggerate from Rimmel. Rimmel Exaggerate and this is Blackest Black. And this really gives a nice defined look to underneath your lashes. I just kind of draw against the lashes underneath. There's still room between that flap of skin and my eyeballs so I don't feel like I'm you know drawing on my eye. Um, it, it's really nice. You do have a smudger and a sharpener. So you have a smudger here where you can smudge it if you're going on the top and you have a sharpener if you want to just turn it to get more of a point. It's a really really clever uh, thing and it's from Rimmel and I think any of their colors in this line are just outstanding. So this is Rimmel Exaggerate and this is the eyeliner that I use to line underneath my uh, mascara for drugstore. But generally I don't use it for that. <laughs> I, have a, I have a high end one that I do for that. Okay, mascaras. I'm going to have to say um, I have always been skeptical about lash primers and a lash primer basically is something that when you curl your lashes you can then place this stuff which is usually white on it and it holds it like hairspray or hair gel and you let it dry for 30 seconds and then you put on your mascara. So I have Essence and this is Volume Booster uh, Lash Primer. I do like this, it's not fluffy, it has liquid around the fluffy fibers, so when it holds, it holds. You have to let it dry for 30 seconds before you put your mascara on. Uh, for mascara, I really don't use um, drugstore mascaras. I haven't been happy with them. Uh, they don't perform for me as well as I like and some of the higher end uh, mascaras, so I don't really reach for these but this one is not bad this is the clump crusher a lot of you love this as your favorite and I, I am wearing it today but the clump crusher is really nice it does not leave dings it doesn't flake um, it's a good color I trust it it is from covergirl clump crusher it's the green one you know there's so many millions of, of mascaras in the drugstore um, I'm picky about mascara because I don't want it to smear. I don't want it to leave little dings on my upper lids from banging against it because I have hooded eyes. I don't want it to crack and, and flake off onto my cheek, which some of them do. So I'm really tough on my mascaras as far as judging them goes. And most of the drugstore ones fail these tests. Joa mascara was my favorite and I don't have it here to show you. I'll try to put it right up here. I liked 
Um, the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal only lasts a couple of weeks before it it hardens and, and gets lumpy and clumpy and it's something about when the air hits it, it just moves too fast into a solid frame. It doesn't go on well after a couple of weeks. It's too dry. And you know, everybody says, oh, well, just throw some uh, so throw some eye drops in the container and I'm just a little queasy about fixing mascaras because they're so close to my eyes. I don't want to risk bacterial infections. I don't want to risk pink eye. So I don't like to fix mascaras after two weeks. They shouldn't be in such a bad state after two weeks. So I didn't like, although I like the look of the lash from Lash Paradise, it just after two weeks, if it doesn't work, it's not worth the money to me. And I'm not a huge fan of L'Oreal, as you know. If you've been watching my channel, you know I'm not a big L'Oreal fan. <clears throat> yep. For lashes, I love the 110s and the Wispies from Ardell. Um, I also have been using the Sephora. This is the um, Lash Adhesive the clear lash adhesive from Sephora. This is their brand and uh, it works really nicely but I don't use magnetic lashes. I don't like them. I find that they feel unnatural and they poke up funny. If you move or if you rub your eye you move them. You know, There's a lot of things that can go wrong. So lashes, I love fake lashes. I wear them. I get the ones on Amazon where you get 20 pairs for five bucks. I love those. Um, they're usually artificial um, synthetic lashes. I don't think anybody gets that close to you and if they're getting that close to you and judging your lashes, don't go out with them. So lash is good. Now for eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, this is the Sephora brand and this is in a um, satin stone gray beautiful elegant color as opposed to wearing black this is just a beautiful color it's just leveled up from the black I think because you've still got that darkness but it's still got something else going for it and it's not as harsh on the eyes I just don't like to see harsh black lines all around people's eyes I think they can look very dated and it actually makes your eyes look smaller uh, but it does make it look like you're trying too hard sometimes when you've got eyeliner all the way around. See, and that's not budging. <laughs> okay, we're going into lips now. And um, best lip liner of the year, hands down, is from Sorme. Um, this is the square one. It's square. It's not round. It's square. But you can use your... Um, I'll just demonstrate it because it's so silly. People were freaking out over it. Just use the regular old. See, there you go. Works great in a regular sharpener. And that's square. It's square. This is called Baby Doll. And uh, this is my favorite lip liner for the year. Since I tried it, this was my favorite. Um, it looks pretty on its own. If you have your lip liner with you, you can just fill in all your lips and it stays really well, especially through eating lunch or having cocktails. Um, and then you can always put a lipstick over the top of it, but Baby Doll is the perfect shade for me. It looks like my lips, only a hundred times better. And it's a wonderful, holds the line. It keeps your lipstick from fraying out into the little lines around your mouth really wonderful. For a long-lasting lipstick that will not budge, this is the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour color in Twisted Toffee. I think it's number 150. Uh, you basically... I hate to demonstrate this because then I can't ever get it off my hand. <laughs> this is the color Twisted Toffee. It is the perfect shade for every day. Once you put this puppy on, you hold your mouth in position in a smile, so you're stretching it, and then after maybe 15 seconds, you turn it over and there's a balm on the other side, a clear lip balm, and you just put that balm over the top of the uh, lipstick and it softens it right up and gives you a little bit of a glow to it. 
Now this is perfect for if you've got an event going on, uh, a graduation, a wedding, an anniversary party, a uh, Christmas party. Uh, this is just beautiful. And it's so, once it dries, it doesn't want to move at all. It doesn't want to move. So this is just my favorite and Twisted Toffee is my favorite shade. Uh, number 150 I think it is. Absolutely wonderful. But this is my favorite, long lasting and it does not smear on a mask. It does not break down until you're ready to have it break down. At the end of the night, when you do get it off with a little bit of coconut oil, um, I wouldn't wear it every day because it does dry your lips out because there's something in there that makes it so, um, you know, it stays so well that uh, it will dry your lips out if you try to use it every day. But I do use it for special events, and I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful base. You can always put a different lip uh, gloss over the top to make it a little fancier, but it's just the perfect color. So my other uh, liquid lip choice was from the Sephora brand, and this is their liquid lip um, selection, and this is number six. And the reason I love this is that I had this sweater on <laughs> uh, when I wore it and I'm telling you the sweater looks so nice with this uh, lip color on me and it was such a surprise because I'm not usually a cool tone person I can be neutral and warm but this color just did something and it was so pretty I'll put a quick picture here so you can see it And that's Sephora number six, and these are the liquid lip stains. Now I love these lip stories, which is a series. They're cardboard packaging. They're made in Italy. Um, they're lipsticks from Sephora, and this is the Pisces. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous shade. Now let me just uh, put it here. It's kind of a, a muted coral pink really really pretty this is Pisces I'm a Pisces so I thought it'd be nice to have Pisces I also have um, a few other of these that I really like I like the lip line at the Sephora brand and I think that these are just beautiful they don't last all day you have to touch them up after a couple hours but they are so beautiful and there's so many colors in the the uh, cases are so unique but they are cardboard so this isn't a collectible I mean who, who collects makeup anyway, although I have seen some ladies on here that <laughs> hoard makeup and have drawers and drawers and drawers of it, and I'm like, it's just going to go bad, you know? <laughs> it's just going to go bad. So I do like this, and uh, this is called Pisces from Sephora brand, and these are the lip stories they're called. Also from Sephora, these are the luxurious lip lacquers, and really, really beautiful. Let me just show you. They go on like a high-end um, lipstick. So this one is L18, and then this one is L15. Let me just show you this. So one's slightly warmer and cooler than the other one. The 15's cooler, and the 18 is warmer. These are so nice. They feel like luxury lipsticks. I think some of the packaging on the Sephora brand could be improved a little bit because it does break down. I noticed uh, the packaging isn't as cool as it could be, but this is actually quite elegant looking for Sephora brand for $9 or whatever they are. They're very inexpensive. It's so weird with that blue eyeshadow on that for like, poof. <laughs> okay, for lip gloss, this is the end of the lips and then we do one more product and we're done. This is the um, Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and these actually are pigmented enough to be liquid lipsticks. I think this is a beautiful shade. This is my favorite shade of this, and I think it's called Reef. Absolutely beautiful. There is a doe foot applicator, and look at this beautiful, beautiful shade. It's so pretty. Let me just put it on over the top. There is a, a coconut essence to these. Some people don't like that, uh, and I understand that, but it's just so pretty. And there's a, quite an assortment of colors here. There is a slight color tinge, color tint to them, so you do get that lipstick look from them. 
Uh, this one in Reef I think is a really nice neutral look. It also will tone down a really loud lipstick if you want to tone down a lipstick using lip gloss. But that's the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. From the She Glam website, off of the She In site, the makeup division is called She Glam. Uh, this is Busy, and this is a, just a beautiful, beautiful uh, topper. It's a lip topper gloss, and it's so pretty. It makes any lipstick look gorgeous. Let me just um, see what I can do here. Let me demonstrate this. And I think it's like $3. I don't know how they do it. No, I don't know how they do it, but it's like $3. This one goes like holographic pink to orange to coral. It's really pretty in the sunlight. This is just so gorgeous. And it's called I think it's called Busy. Dizzy. This is called Dizzy. <laughs> Dizzy. Last but not least, scent. My scent. Okay, um, I do have a lot of high-end scents that I love and I do buy the high-end version of them. Um, but I do every now and then really like a scent that I just can't afford it in a full format. Uh, so I looked online and there is there are companies that make oil-based versions of high-end fragrances. And this one is called Q-Foils, and this is their version of Good Girl. It absolutely has the exact same high notes, dry-down notes, everything. And it lasts probably four or five hours before you have to retouch. comes in these little roller, roller bottles. Some of them have quite a bit in them. Um, I have different scents from different companies, but this is the one I tried this year that I really liked. It's the Q Foils version of Good Girl, and of course Good Girl is the Herrera scent. It comes in the stiletto heel bottle with the spray. At the I love that. <laughs> Wonderful bottle. Oh. Um, a real original scent that's quite natural smelling and wonderful. I think you can even find this in Walmart. Dare I say Walmart. This is the Wind Wild Spirit, and it's called Driftwood. Driftwood is such a beautiful, beautiful scent. It is so natural and so relaxing and calming. I mean, when I put this on, it's not a palm. You know, sometimes when you put drugstore or low cost uh, scents on, they have that palm to them. It just kind of cuts the air, it's so strong. But this is beautiful and it's called, uh, the, the company's called Wild Spirit and the scent is called Driftwood. So, you know, have a look there. It comes in a much bigger bottle. I got a sampler pack of several different flavors, and I, I like, you know, this first snow, and I think this one is um, spring. You know, there, there's just, there's several different flavors of this. But I think the Driftwood is my favorite, and that's the one I would recommend to you. And I think you can find this on Walmart. I'll link it below, but I mean, it's worth trying it, and it's not expensive at all. It's really wonderful. I think it's like 10 bucks or something for a regular size bottle, so it's worth trying. Okay, with that, my friends, thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for your support and for spending time with me and my videos um, during the year. Um, and I've actually received some cards. I've received some gifts from some of you. Lauren, Lauren sending me that gift card. That was just amazing. Thank you so much. Gosh, you guys are wonderful. You know, you really got me through quite a year. Uh, but I'll talk about that in another time. Um, my next video will be all about lifestyle and skincare, hair care. Um, tools, brushes, things like that. I'll go through that and then um, I will have at the finale my best of high-end and luxury makeup. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet because it helps me out so much. It helps support my channel and keep me going and um, I hope all of you are well and happy. Thanks so much again. Take care. Toodles.